Hello everyone, welcome to the tea crane. I'm happy to have you here and today I want to talk about teacups and how I like to enjoy my tea. Um, first off, I want to ask you what do you enjoy your tea out of? Is it something similar like these cups that I enjoy? Or do you have a preferred method of drinking tea, sipping tea, enjoying tea? Um, if yours is different or if it is similar, let me know in the comments below and um, share with us what or how you like to drink uh, your tea. Now, I have several cups of, um, well, small cups for drinking tea out uh, in front of me. Some of them here um, have different sizes and as I recall from learning from different schools of Senchado, um, Senchado is a tea ceremony for uh, leaf tea uh, where they prepare Gyokuro, um, Sencha, etc. in a ceremonial style. They use different sizes and different shapes of cups for different um, teas. And so Gyokuro usually uses smaller cups uh, like these, whereas the cups for Sencha are a bit taller, like the ones that I have uh, here in front of me. These, um, these Sencha schools, they have their preferred cups. And the reason why they use small cups is because, especially with Gyokuro, they use only a little bit, only an, um, a few droplets of liquor that they enjoy from their, um, from their teacups. So the cups don't have to be big. What you could actually compare it to is the size of a matcha bowl in which you only have a little bit of matcha in the bottom. A matcha bowl is not filled to the top. It only includes a little bit of, um, of tea in the bottom of it and the bowl is big enough to allow you to enjoy the aroma, savor that little bit of tea and also appreciate uh, the beauty of its foam. And with these cups as well, only having 20% of them full gives you the opportunity to um, enjoy the aroma, enjoy the color of the liquor and, well, appreciate this tea to the fullest. Now, I don't practice any uh, Senchado schools. Um, I prefer to enjoy Sencha or Gyokuro or other leaf type teas the way that I see fit for them. And especially with organic teas and other natural teas, these teas are more um, outspoken as to flavor. So instead of um, making a large batch of Sencha and, and drinking it from a, a mug cup or uh, using a larger um, a larger, what do you call that? They, they have these uh, yunomi, these uh, larger cups uh, for drinking sencha. I, I find them rather uh, distasteful. They're too large, some, somewhat too heavy. And instead what I like to do is, I still like to drink the same amount of tea, but have it in smaller bits, smaller portions. So that's also why I like to use smaller teapots, smaller cues so that are at the most 200 milliliters um, in, in size and get from them the, um, well, the tea into a different container. And then from that container, I just pour little bits in these cups and enjoy it as such. So I, from one brew of tea, I could have three or four little cups, but it's because I'm drinking it in little bits, I get to appreciate each time over and over again. So what I find so powerful about these little cups is that it allows me to enjoy the aroma. Um, look at the liquor. It's tiny. It fits in my, well, in, in my hands like, like this. It, it becomes a precious object. It becomes something precious. And because there's only this much in the cup, it draws your attention to it and, and you become present in the moment, present in savoring uh, this tea. And you, of course, don't want to just gulp it down. You take it in three or four sips. And with each sip, you get a different appreciation, a different um, attention to different items of 
the, uh, the aroma, different aspects of the flavor. And so um, that is why I like to use smaller cups to drink um, my tea. Another aspect that I also want to um, talk about about these little cups is that although you're drinking only small amounts at once, you can go through three, four, five, six, sometimes more uh, infusions of the same tea. And when brewing it in a little teapot that is, say, 200 milliliters large, you will still be uh, pouring 200 milliliters of tea throughout, let's say we're having five infusions, so that's one liter of tea. If you're consuming that one liter of tea in these small cups, or you're consuming one liter of tea in a big jar or a big jug, then you feel different as well. With these small cups, you don't realize really that you've had one liter of tea already, whereas if you have that one liter standing in front of you, you well, will of course be drawn to the, the fact that you're going to have one liter of tea and you, you'll feel full before you've even started. These small cups allow you to go through more steepings and consume more tea. Not that that is a goal, but if you're having more steepings, then you also um, are allowed to enjoy different aspects of that same tea leaf throughout those multiple infusions. That also allows you to be more you're not just producing one liter of tea and then setting it next to your computer, sit down in front of your computer and just drinking that liter of tea. No, you are in the moment of brewing it, of savoring it, and with each steeping, you mindfully extract that uh, brew. You add a little bit to your cup, you savor that tea, you savor the aroma, you savor the flavor, and you add a little bit more. And the next thing you do is to brew another batch of tea, the second infusion. And you go through the same process again. You add a little bit to your cup, you savor that part, and you um, brew another batch of tea. So you are brewing tea all the way through. You're sitting there in front of your teacup, of your teapot, and you're not doing something else at the same moment. So that gives um, a, a lot of peace of mind. It allows you to be mindful of what you're doing and it's a form of meditation. Just having that relaxing moment, even if it's 10 minutes, if it's 15 minutes, you're there practicing this mindfulness pursuit, this mind mindfulness uh, activity, just having tea. And it's also something delicious and fun to do at the same time. That is why I like to use these smaller cups. These smaller cups, they come in various sizes, various uh, motifs, various shapes. If you would like to obtain an, uh, a cup like one of these, um, there are various options that you can choose from. And at the tea crane, we also have uh, two cups that are, well, these are pottery, they're not porcelain, but they're also similarly sized. This one is an, a cup that somewhat looks like a shell on the inside. It is um, crafted by our friend potter Katayama Masami, who is um, producing these beautiful red Oribe uh, wares. And so he's got a few of these cups uh, available at the tea crane. And then Watanabe-san, he's a, a young potter, uh, somewhere around my age and he has these uh, slightly whiter creamy cups with these beautiful calligraphed letters on them and these uh, calligraphed letters uh, well they're different styles of the word kotobuki which uh, which is well luck happiness it's uh, it's an auspicious word there are several options that you can choose from at the tea crane as well i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did, um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and also click the bell to get notified of future videos and new updates. And let me know in the comments below how you like to enjoy your tea. Do you have a special cup that you like? Or um, is your style similar to the way that um, I like to drink tea? Let me know 
and I will be seeing you in another video. For now, enjoy your tea.